What's going on, beautiful people? Today I want to talk to you about manifesting, creating, and attracting in this present moment because the now is where all the creative potential dwells. Fact. We only create, manifest, and attract in this present moment. I'm always talking to students, clients, or just random people on Facebook or social media that's saying, I want to manifest more peace. I want to manifest more wealth. I want to manifest a new relationship. I want to create this. I want to attract this person, a partner, a lover. And today I want to help you do just that. So the first step to manifesting what you desire is to realize that we only manifest, create, and attract in this present moment. So entering the present moment is essential. I'm going to talk to you about, so if you stay tuned to the end of this video, I'm going to give you some resources on how you can begin step-by-step -step practical means for stepping into, through meditation, stepping into the present moment. So hang on to the end of the video for that. This moment, the now, the eternal now, is where all the creative potential dwells. Therefore, I tell you, all the things you pray and ask for, believe that you have received them and you will have them, Jesus. And Jesus said some pretty cool shit. Pretty cool dude, man. And he said, if you believe that you have received them, then you will have them. This is the key. Believe that you have received. In the present moment, you begin to assume the mood of the fulfilled desire. Want to lose weight? Don't just think skinny. You must feel skinny. Begin living as the new person, as the new self immediately. Do not wait. The second part is to let go of control. Don't get all sweaty trying to make stuff happen. Remember, if you've assumed the mood of the fulfilled desire, then it's yours already in the eternal consciousness. And you're not gonna get you're not gonna grind away trying to make something happen that's already yours. It's yours. So now you're resting in the reality of what is yours. In the eternal reality, it is yours. And so I don't have to try to make it happen. The one who's trying to control things, the one who's trying to make it happen is the one standing in time, not in faith. Jesus said, if you believe and do not doubt, when we try to make it happen, it's because we doubt that we already possess it in the eternal right? So if you already possess it in the eternal and you realize that it's going to be observed in time, it's going to be observed in the natural order of things, in the natural realm. I don't need to figure it out. I don't need to know how. I don't need to know why. I don't need to know when. I just know because in the eternal, none of those things are relevant. I just know it's mine and it, and it is, it's mine already. And I'm living as if it's mine and it will manifest. But the one who's trying to make it happen is living in time. That's where all of your control issues come up. It's because you're living in time and you're like, oh, I don't have it. I keep praying. I keep believing. Why haven't I received it? That's doubt. Jesus said, if you believe it, do not doubt. You'll have whatever you ask. You see, faith is this lit <laughs> tool in the artist's tool belt. It isn't used to create a future event. Faith is always present. Time, however, is how you observe things. Faith is how you create things. You observe things in time. Out here. But faith is in here. So we have, in faith we see it. And in time, it shall manifest. But time is not necessary for faith. It's irrelevant to faith. Faith is always present. Now, I know. I gave you a few steps. 
here's where I give you the resource to uh, to really tap into this. If your brain's in theta mode right now, you're saying, yeah, Silas, you're high as a kite, you're feeling spun, you're just going, yeah. And you're immediately probably implementing, like receiving what I'm saying, and you'll go and you'll turn and you'll immediately begin to implement this stuff. It just makes sense. You don't have to know it here, it just makes sense here. However, most of us, most of you, have not learned how to function in theta. Most of you have not even yet really learned how to function in high ranges of alpha brain waves or the alpha mindset. Instead, we're functioning on the high end of the beta mindset. Now, what beta is, is this, this rational mindset that's always perceiving outside in. The outside world is real and it influences my inside world. If you were functioning in a higher theta, alpha, delta, or even gamma, then what's happening is you're functioning from the inside out. I see what's real here and I manifest it out outwardly. You see, beta's wonderful. If you're running from like a grizzly bear, or you're about to get hit by a train. Beta's wonderful because it's it op it immediately begins to it's the rational mind that begins to release all kinds of uh, things like uh, um, adrenaline and cortisol and all these hormones that immediately help you escape or fight for your life. But if you live in that rational mindset with those hormones, it'll wear you out, it ages you quickly, and it uh, is devastating to your physical form, devastating to your body. And then not only that, but you really have a hard time learning things because beta is not meant for learning. It's meant for running or fighting for your life. So most of you will require a bit more education and revelation. Revelation is stripping away of what we think we are, of what we think we know to begin to really tap into this thing. And so I've got good news for you. I've designed a course actually multiple courses that are designed just for you. Now, what I talked about is very simple. As a matter of fact, all the things that we talk about in the course are very simple, but I break them down scientifically and I break them down metaphysically so that you can begin, and practically, so that you can begin to really implement this stuff in your life. So if this is something that's interesting to you, I want you to go to the link below, Life Artistry Institute, lifeartistry.co. And I want you to check out the next, the upcoming course, which is a metaphysical mindfulness course. It is designed to help raise your awareness so that you can begin to tap into the eternal now and the creative potential that lies therein. So check it out. If you have a comment, drop it below. If you haven't already subscribed, I don't know what in the world you're waiting for. Click the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications. Let's journey together. Let's play. I think you're incredible. And I want you right now to begin creating all that you desire. Because that's my passion, is to see the whole world living in this bliss that I've come to know and love.